Hello everyone, myself Ankar Sethi and I am from Networkers Home Technical Team. So today we are going to discuss about a scenario on the VTP. Okay, so let's get started. Here you can see we are having switches switch 1 and switch 2. Okay, so these switches switch 1 and switch 2 are connected to a local area network that is in VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 okay and we are having VLAN 30 and VLAN 40 on switch 2 so this switch which is a server switch from this switch we are switch 2 is a also a switch so what we have to find out that the VLAN is not going to be propagated from switch 1 to switch 2 okay so what are the reasons clear so first on this PC3, I have given an IP that is 10.1.1.1, I'll show you. That is if I use the command show IP, you can see we are having an IP address that is 10.1.1.1. Okay. And the default gateway is 10.1.1.10. Similarly on PC4, I am having IP 20.1.1.1, PC5. 30.1.1.1 and PC6 40.1.1 PC3 and 4 are connected to switch 1 and PC5 and 6 are connected to switch 2 okay now on switch 1 switch 1 I have given the IP addresses and VLAN also I'll show you first enable and I'll show you show IP show VLAN brief so VLAN, VLAN 10, 20, 30 and 40 are given, okay. And 10 and 20 are on kick 0 by 1 and 2. So this interface is in VLAN 10, this is interface in VLAN 20, this interface in VLAN 30 and this interface in VLAN 40, okay. Now on switch 2, we go on to the switch 2, okay. And here you can see. We are having the four VLANs. Now we go on to switch two and we'll see how many VLANs are here. So enable show VLAN brief. Here you can see we are having VLAN 30 and 40. Okay. So in this switch one, this is there is VLAN 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay. And if I add some VLANs more here, like on switch one, I'll add some more VLANs, like on the VLAN 50. Okay, and exit. Now, on this, if you see, to show VLAN brief. Okay, you can see VLAN 50 is allocated on this. Okay, but that VLAN is not propagated on switch two. So we'll see that here you can see show VLAN brief that VLAN is not propagated on switch 2. Okay, so we have to find we have to troubleshoot that what are the reasons that they are not being propagated. So first is switch one. We have to check the details of switch one and details of switch two. So first, first, first what we have to do, we have to check that that these interfaces gig 0 by 0 and gig 0 by 0 of switch 1 and switch 2 is trunk port allocated on this okay so we go on to here on to the switch 1 do show uh, interfaces trunk so interfaces you can see trunking is allocated on gig 0 by 0 on gig 0 by 0 mode on encapsulation is isl okay similarly we go on to switch to and we'll see show interfaces trunk okay so here you can see on gig one by zero gig one by zero trunk is there on gig zero by zero trunking is not allocated so we'll allocate the trunk first is interface gig 
zero by zero and the command is switch port trunk encapsulation isl switch port mode okay and if we use the if I show the command show interfaces trunk you can see we are having gig zero by zero and encapsulated with isl okay now isl is being encapsulated in between them and now what is the switch to okay now we can see can we able to communicate so we go on to switch one and we'll remove the vlan 40 so interface vlan 50 okay and we have to first remove it so the command is no no interface no vlan 50 okay it is being removed so now we'll see on switch to can the information is being propagated so show vlan brief still information is not being propagated so what we can do here is we have to see that what are the values on switch one show vtp status so version is two domain name is cisco operating mode is server okay similarly we go on to switch to show vtp status domain name is two i'm uh, sorry version is two and domain name is not cisco so we have to change it to cisco and operating mode is transparent so we'll do that first conf t and vtp mode is we can use client and next is vtp domain is cisco okay. now domain name matches and again we are going to check it that vlan information is being shared or not so first show vlan brief on switch one 20, 30, and 40 are there. So we'll add one more VLAN, conf T, VLAN 50, and exit. Now we go on to switch to. So here I'll do show VLAN brief. So here, how many VLANs are there? 10, 20, 30, 40. And on switch to it is 50 also. So first we'll remove the okay. What we have to do uh, what we have to do here? We'll remove the VLAN 50. Okay. Okay, here we have given. Okay, again we have given. Then do show VLAN brief is there. Okay, now 10 to 50 are there. Okay, and if we see on to switch to 10 20 30 40 50 are there okay so both are same but first we confirm that all are correct by using the command no vlan 50 and if i use the command do show vlan brief you can see we are having 10 20 30 and 40 vlans and similarly on switch 2 do show vlan brief 10 20 30 and 40 Okay, so the point is we can able to communicate between the switches by using the trunk link. Okay, so this is how we can troubleshoot this. Okay, now next point is that from PC3 can we able to ping? So this is this router you can see it is an edge router and this router is an ISP router. Okay so what we want to do is we want to ping this isp router okay so first we go on to the pc so what i have done here first i'll tell you that here it is vlan 10 and here i have given on this interface on these interface i'll 
make it the sub interfaces okay i'll make these interfaces as sub interfaces both okay and vlan 10 and 20 are enabled here and here vlan 30 and 40 are enabled okay so these are being enabled here now this is vlan 10 this is vlan 20 30 and 40 10 20 we can share from there and 30 40 we can share it from here now and this these interfaces gig 0 by 3 and 1 by 0 i have made it as trunk port trunk port both okay clear so these interfaces are made as trunk these interfaces are made, made as sub interfaces okay and now this is an edge router from here on this interface i have given an ip that is 12.1.1 on this interface i have given an ip that is 12.1.1.2 and there is an ip address of 10.10.10.10 .10 .10 .10 .10 .10 .10 .10 .10 or on this interface that is okay this ip has been changed here okay we'll see that and we'll troubleshoot this also first we go on to the isp first we go on to the isp and see enable here you can see show ip interface brief okay so what we are going to do we are going to change the ip address of the loopback interface loopback one ip address is dot hundred dot hundred dot hundred okay and two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero okay now okay ip is being changed now on this edge router i have given default routing default routing towards isp and on isp i have given the static routes for 10 20 30 and 40 ip addresses okay so here you can see so first we'll try to ping from pc3 to isp so i'll change this this is like now This is 100, 100, 100, and 100. Okay. Now we are going to ping from PC3 to this ISP. PC3. Here you can see. Okay. And we are going to ping 100, 100, 100, 100. We can't able to ping due to timeout. Okay. So first we have to go step by step like pc3 to first we have to ping on to the interface sub interfaces so the ip of the sub interface is ping 10.1.1.1.10 10. okay we can able to ping on sub interfaces now we'll ping on 12.1.1.1 okay ping 12.1.1.1 which is the ip yes we can able to ping 12.1 is the ip of gig 0 by 0 now we are going to ping 12.1.1.2 can we able to ping we'll see that okay so we are not able to ping from 12 from this here to here so now we go on to this edge router and we'll see that the command is enable show ip interface brief you can see we are having an ip 12.1.1.1 that is correct and now we go on to this isp and we'll see that ip is available on isp uh, show ip interface brief 
आई पी इज अवेलेबल और गिग जीरो बाई जीरो ट्वेल्व डॉट टू गिग जीरो बाई जीरो एंड इट इज ट्वेल्व डॉट टू सो दैट इज करेक्ट नाउ वी सी वी गो ऑन टू द एज राउटर एंड विल सी दैट इफ राउटिंग इज अवेलेबल शो आई पी वी कैन सी विद दिस कमांड द कमांड इज शो रन एंड पाइप सेक्शन आई पी राउट IP route zero 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 zero. Yes, there is the problem. So we have given here at twelve dot one dot one dot four, but we have to give twelve dot one dot one dot two. Okay, twelve dot one dot one dot two and enter. Okay. Now we'll see. That is so. We have to remove this. Okay, Conf T and we'll remove this. Control A. We can say we go with no and enter. Okay. Now we can see that we can able to get ping here or not. Okay, from PC three. We'll go on to PC three, and we can see if we can able to ping here or not. Still, so we go on to we go on to edge router again and see show IP interface brief the IP is twelve dot one and we use the command show run IP section IP route okay that is okay and then we go on to ISP on ISP. It's twelve dot two gig zero by zero. Twelve dot two is there. Okay, on ISP first we'll see that show run pipe section IP. We'll see that routing is available on this or not. Okay, and we use the command show run. Okay, so what we have to do? We have to give the routing. Okay. We'll see that again in detail. Okay. Show IP route. If I use the command show IP route, okay. So on ISPs, the VLAN network information is not given. So we'll give the command conf t IP route. That is ten dot one dot one dot zero and two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. And the next stop will be like twelve dot one dot one dot one. Twelve dot one dot one dot one. Okay. Ten network. Twenty network. Thirty network and forty. Done. Now all networks are there. So now we we'll check again from PC three. Okay. So now we can able to achieve the ping response. Okay. so this is how we can able to troubleshoot the network so this scenario will help you out to how we can able to troubleshoot a vtp network as well as a uh, connectivity issues we can troubleshoot okay so i hope this video is informative for you and thank you for watching